Hello Virgos, this is your monthly, your January monthly abundance reading. And we're going to take a look at the overall energy surrounding your wealth, your abundance, and all of that good resource stuff. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to set the, these decks aside for a moment. I'm going to look for one to, just a couple, a few cards, one to few cards. Um, what will Virgos be experiencing in January in terms of their finances or of their abundance and well-being? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. do you have spirit pertaining to attracting more abundance for Virgos conscious consumer okay. and savings interesting insights about the Knight of Pentacles and Seven of Wands for Virgos for January in the area of your finances or abundance. Okay, so let's now look at what tools will Virgos utilize in January to attract more abundance. And that's beautiful. We have back-to-back -back, um, Page of Cups and Knight of Cups. Face your financial fears. And then finally, in the tools position for this month, illumination. It's beautiful. Huh. And then the outcome cards. What's happening? What? Is how does the month end in your abundance house in your finances? What do you take away into um, mid February and beyond, or what do you leave behind in January, Virgos, in the area of abundance? We have four of cups. Any other messages about what you will be? So, 
this going to okay so we have what's happening here the knight of pentacles and the seven of wands so in terms of the happenings you will be consciously focused on saving it's constant consciously focused on uh, defending your goals and passions this month it's imperative to you in your eyes to transform how you know how you've been spending how you've been living you're now starting to realize your goals your life goals and thing milestones in your life are changing what once were you able to get away with not really saving money and not really thinking about the future is now becoming a real possibility that you really need to set your sights on you know reach you know to start saving to start building a nest egg because we're not young forever so we have to start doing what we need to do and that you're in it for the long haul and you have been the knight of pentacles is about actively moving towards um, a goal um, tediously paying attention to the details of it and then meanwhile defending your goals defending your position defending feeling like you have to defend your position for example you know you've got family and friends who wants to do x y and z they want to go on a trip they want to do this they want to do that and you found that you need to be a lot more conscious of your spending. So you kind of feel on the defensive in January, like when you have to decline events or decline activities. And, you know, we'll talk more about that in a moment in the tools position on how to deal with that. But that's an energy that you feel like is going on and it doesn't feel so hot or great to you. Um, consu conscious consumer and savings. So this month, that's why I'm saying this is a big thing for you. And that you are learning to release old habits, release old ways of spending and release how excessive spending you're doing to transform having that part of you die where you're just not really so focused on your future and focused on, you know, making sure you're going to have a set future. Some of you, not all of you, but there's a transformation of no longer, you know, of you releasing the old of living paycheck to paycheck to getting to a place where you are saving and it's important to save and the knight of pentacles affirms that you understand the importance of it let's just take a look at these conscious consumer it says you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision by only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly as a conscious consumer you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods you live simply and you purchase only that which you need. So maybe if before you, you know, love the excess creature comforts of life. But as you start to move about, maybe you've been traveling recently. You've realized you don't really need a lot of stuff. So maybe you're, you're wanting to simplify and be a conscious consumer in that way. Maybe you're just recognizing that you've been overspending, buying really designer goods when other things, you know, the generic brand would do just fine. This year, you're just tightening up your bootstraps, focusing on your future. It says savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So in January you start saving some of you um, who've already been saving you increase your savings while others are you know just still in the exploratory phase of finding what savings um, they want to go with and then still others some virgos who are very meticulous about their finances to begin with have, this card con confirms these cards confirm already that you are you are one who saves that you are a conscious consumer but I get because we have the death card, which typically translates to a transformation or a transition. And then we have right next to it release, the releasing of old ways, old patterns, old spending habits, releasing that for the greater good. And then, you know, that transformation is at hand for your abundance. So that's what's happening in terms of tools. 
Yeah, the windfall of abundance and face your financial fears. So some of you may be getting word of maybe a settlement coming in. So, you know, we'll look at the cards in a moment, how to apply this as a tool. But you know, as far as this card goes, you are starting to see things for what and who they are. People and things for what and who they are. And it, things are being illuminated. You're you're able to see clearly on the power, the what do they call it? Is it not power struggles? It is the power struggles. Maybe in your work organization. Things that were once your eyes were closed to, now you're starting to see. And it's starting to become clearer to you that what's most important to you is that you want to feel emotionally connected to how you get your money, how you earn your living. That is important to you. That you have an emotional tie to the people, that you feel like you're making a difference. And if you start to realize that you start to feel like that's not happening, whether it's because you're not spending your money as you know as you would like to, or you're not earning enough, or you're not really satisfied with where you're working, maybe it's time to move on and find another place of employment that is more suited for you. Because it's important to be able to be emotionally happy in your workplace. And this month finds you looking at looking around. Some of you will be just completely grateful for what you have after you do this assessment, after you look around and see what's going on here and see how you're feeling about this job. And as a result, you know, maybe you are hearing word that you're going to be getting a bonus or a raise. Here's a windfall of abundance. Some of you will be getting notice of a settlement. While others of you, you know, maybe that's not happening, but you at least are able to confront and face your financial fears and look at the truth of the situation. Maybe you felt like you had to work at this particular company for a long time because you were afraid you weren't going to be able to move on and find a new job when in fact, if you put your resume out there, you very well could find a new job and find one that's much more emotionally um, fulfilling and connected to your higher self purpose than the job that you were at before, if that makes any sense. Things are illuminated to you. And so you're invited in the tools position to open your eyes and really take a moment to look around you. Look around at your workplace. Look around at what you do for a living. Is it is any parts of the job something that makes you want to get up in the morning and bounce up and, and do it? Or is every aspect of it just no longer stirring your soul? If it's not, then it's time to then look at your budget. See if there's any way you can take a pay cut. If you can't, then you know that. You face your financial fears and you'll know that. And you'll know how much you need to make in order to move on to a much more emotionally fulfilling place. For some of you, it could be coming to reaching a point where you realize, oh, wow, I may be at a retirement of this career, but I need to first look at everything to see if I'm ready for that transformation. Ready or not, you're going to have that transformation, but it's best to be on the side of you working it out with a windfall of abundance and facing your financial fears ahead of time than having something happen to you. Um, so yeah, let's look at these cards here. It says, windfall of abundance. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life, purpose, health, and charitable work. So being open to receive is the tool in this message for the month of January and going into February. Face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear. And that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. So, 
and you will be facing some financial fears, but it really is for your greater good in the long run. And that's a good thing because now you'll know you know, where you stand and when you can, you know, you don't, you'll realize that you're more free than you thought. And then finally the outcome, we have the four of cups, the king of wands, and then the 10 of pentacles. And wow. Okay. So in the end, if we kind of look at everything here is that boredom was kind of starting to set in at the beginning of the month or you were starting to be bored with certain aspects of your career or your your hobbies or your interests and bored with life in general and maybe even some of you were feeling guilt about that boredom because really you recognize that you have it going on you have many of you are doubly blessed over um but there's a sense of there's something more that's needed as we see with the tools uh, position up here that, you know, you, you don't want to feel boredom on the regular. Now, for some of you, this is just a mild, just a mild occurrence of this, a season, if you will. And the sooner you let go of guilt and you, it appears that you do, that you have to go through this whole process, the easier it is to transform and move on like this butterfly and move on to your destiny. It says here, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So we're always going to be evolving always going to be trying things and as a result of trying new things mistakes may happen you just so it's nothing that um should keep you from growing and I, I think that you realize this and as the month progresses on you have the king of wands where you really champion understand that you are you are a success that you are a go-getter that some of you reach these conclusions after traveling. Maybe some had to travel for business, some travel for pleasure, but in the end you come back feeling really accomplished, really satisfied with yourself. And you, like I said, just goal oriented and driven. And that's the outcome and the takeaway that you carry into the next month and beyond, as is the 10 of Pentacles. This is someone who's sitting perched in their chair, happy, fulfilled, have their family, have their home life in order. Um, they realize that you come to a realization that you have a permanent, like blessed life. It feels like it feels like you've set yourself up, set your family up, set set everyone up for everyone's greater good around you. But in the beginning of the month, and these are energies that you don't really carry forth, but it's something to work through. There's some sort of boredom or and guilt surrounding the boredom. And there's some sort of, you know, feeling like guilty if you want to do something else for the sake of yourself. But it seems like there's a transformation and softening of that and exploration and success of realizing that you can start to explore other options and blossom into other things and not have to just be married to a career or job that no longer serves you. And once you let go of that guilt, it opens the door to you being able to A, receive the blessings that are right there already with you and B, to for you to constructively go out and look for new and better and more suited, better suited opportunities for you once you stop feeling the guilt. Because that's the problem. Sometimes we start beating ourselves up like, oh, I should be grateful. I should be grateful that I have this job. Um, I shouldn't be trying to do this or that. Well, as long as you keep staying in that energy, well, you're never going to see what else is out there or really see if this this current job is really suited for you anymore. So you've got to let go of the guilt. All right, my dears. Well, I've rambled long enough, longer than I had planned. Uh, but I want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Um, I see beautiful things happening for you in January. Congrats. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.